In this video, we're gonna be filling up an entire flattened island with turnips worth millions of bells. Oh wait, I'm not Mr. Beast. Eh, shoot. I recruited some friends to help since this would most likely take all day by myself and I didn't feel like buying turnips for 12 hours straight. Thankfully, this can be done by yourself if you're interested in killing a couple days in Animal Crossing. Now that we can place the ABD outside, which forces Daisy May to stay on your island until the end of time, or 5 a.m. the following day, as long as you don't accidentally enter a building, of course. How many bells can you earn by doing something like this? Is this a feasible way to make money? And what is the most profit that you can make? Turnips have always been known as a crazy moneymaker. If you want to learn exactly how they work and how to get the most out of them, there's a whole other video for that. Turnips are a good way to make money if you're willing to invest some, especially if you're blessed with a large spike week for your prices. With the addition of an outside ABD, you're able to essentially buy infinite turnips, or as many as your island can hold anyway since you can't throw turnips into your storage. Could you imagine this thing full of turnips? Imagine all the money. How better to waste our time than to spend hours filling up an entire island, completely flattened for optimal turnip dropping, and selling them to two tiny tanukis who do who knows what with them. Don't ask questions. I spent time earning a ton of money in totally legitimate ways to be able to afford all of these lovely vegetables. Unfortunately, buying turnips can be pretty expensive, especially an island's worth of turnips. Was this way much faster than trying to get a ton of money from turnips? Yes. Yes, it was. But we're not here for that. We're here for Turnip Island. Once I had dropped millions of bells for my helpers to throw at Daisy May, we started dropping turnips slowly on our island. Very slowly. You can't drop more than one bundle at a time, can you? Nope. I didn't realize how slow you dropped things in this game. After a couple hours, we realized we were going to need to recruit more people, because three just wasn't gonna get the job done in time. Once we got a few more helpers in, and a disconnection because, of course, we were still dropping really slow, but less slow. And that was all that mattered. After about four hours of repetitive tasks and conversations about pretty much nothing, so how does the server get deleted? I don't think it can. <laughs> That seems broken. That's how powerful <laughs> my nose. Your nose is. We finally filled the entire island. Every spot filled with turnips, except the inside of my house because screw that, too much effort after everything we'd already done. Now the only thing to do was hope it wasn't a decreasing week and pray I didn't accidentally time travel backwards to rot 600,000 turnips. The next step was to find a decent price point to sell all of these freaking vegetables. Since traveling to another person's island would add about 5 minutes per pocket of turnips, we had a hope that the island we were on had a decent turnip pattern that week. AKA anything other than decreasing because then this would have been a colossal waste of time and we would have been forced to do everything all over again. You've already come this far, I'm not willing to give up without finishing this dumb idea, Squidman. Time traveling day by day and utilizing turnip profit told me I unfortunately had fluctuating week. Not the worst thing ever, but it does make it difficult to find the best day to sell since prices are essentially random. I kept checking my prices twice a day every day to try and figure out the best day to sell. I finally found a price of 132 bells per turnip. Since the max fluctuating price doesn't really go above 160 bells, I figured 132 is a pretty safe place to stop. I didn't want to risk being unlucky and getting prices in the 80s for the rest of the week. When time traveling with turnips, you have to be careful. Any time travel backwards, even an hour, will rot any turnip you have. And you need to sell all of your turnips before the price changes over at noon or before Nook's Cranny closes for the night, depending on which time of day you're planning on selling your turnips. In the end, we successfully sold them all before noon hit. The number of turnips we initially bought was around 644,700 turnips, give or take. We had a couple stacks of turnips that weren't full stacks. <laughs> I wonder who could have done that. So you could technically fit a little bit more on your island, but it is around 650,000 turnips. Keep in mind I have all the buildings set up so you could forego some of the villager houses to make more room if you really wanted to get the most out of this, but we also filled up the beaches and any flat rocks. With a cost of 94 bells per turnip, we spent 60,601,900 bells on turnips. Just a small loan of 60 million bells is all you need for this. 
We sold those turnips for 132 bells each, which came out to a whopping 85,100,532 bells of revenue. Subtracting our costs from the revenue, we got a total profit of about 24.5 million bells, which kind of sucks. It's only like a 40% profit. Sounds great from the outside, but the potential for profit on turnips is incredibly large. Our sell price was very low. Turnip prices can climb all the way up to 660 bells per turnip during large spike week. The price of the turnip that you can sell at caps at 600% of the buy price. Can you make a ton of money? Yes. Is it worth it? Maybe not. There's a lot of risks with turnips and a huge barrier to entry, especially for this experiment. While turnips are a wonderful way to double, triple, quadruple your profit, they aren't the quickest or even the best way to make bells. I have a whole video that explains all of that if you're interested. This was a really fun thing to do with friends. Give us something to work towards and help some of my friends who hadn't yet met the turnip nook mile goal. Now that New Horizons is pretty much done, we have to come up with our own ways to continue to enjoy the game. Anything to kill time before this next game is a win for me. What have you been doing in game now that the updates are over? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!